Hey everyone, Kevin Oxen here with your MakingMe.com. Today what I want to talk about is a free mind mapping tool. It's a really, really cool tool and it's called XMind. You probably have never heard of it and I don't know why because it's awesome. I've gone through and I've done a lot of great things. I've checked out a lot of different mind mapping tools and this one for me is the one that I love. I use it all the time. I use it for my productivity and all these other good things. So let's get into it. Let's have a quick look at XMind. So here's what XMind looks like when you get into it. It actually looks pretty decent in my opinion. And I've tried a lot of other different mind mapping tools. And this one actually is really, really feature rich. If you don't like the looks, you can modify it and make it look all pretty and all those good things. I really just prefer to keep things simple and functional. I want to go through and we'll just go through. We'll use XMind to show you what I think of XMind. I love XMind. I've been using it for a number of years now and I've tried a lot of different versions. There's a free version and a paid version, but the free version is going to work for 80 to 90% of the people out there. So it's probably going to work for you. XMind, super simple to use. If you've ever used, uh, your, a Mac, you've ever used a PC, if you've ever used Linux, it's going to work for you. It's simple. It's also much better than some of the alternatives. In the past, I would do some mind mapping and I thought I was cool. But I'd be embarrassed to pull up my spreadsheet and or my my mind map and show it to people. This is good enough. This is professional enough. You can pull it out and show it to someone. This is also now my first line of defense. If I have ideas, new ideas that I want to bring in, I will actually write them down in my X mind. I'll, I'll do a mind map, get everything out. I can organize things very very easily, and put everything down and start organizing it or start going after that. This thing just works. It's easy to add other items. Let me give you an idea. If I want to add another item, I can simply hit the enter button. If I want to keep adding items in the next, this next line, so I can put new item here. If I want to go deeper, you hit the tab button. Now I'm going deeper. Simple. Simple and easy. Either enter button to keep going or tab button. If you want to collapse things, there's a little plus or a minus sign right here or you can either on on your keyboard you can use the the multiplication sign or the division sign and you can easily collapse all your menus simple 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 to use now I know there are a lot of other options out there and everyone talks about the best software you got out there and what's the what you can should you what you should be using which you don't use I've used a lot of different types of software when I first got into mind mapping I started using FreeMind and it worked okay. It was a little bit, I don't know if it was, it was all that intuitive. And for me at the time, the looks weren't the greatest. Uh, other people like, uh, you know, something like MindJet it looks really great, works nicely, very, very expensive. And of course, one that I've been seeing a lot lately is people talking about MindMeister. Uh, it's okay. It works fine. Looks kind of nice. But if you want, if you don't want to pay, you only get three mind maps, which is a little bit limiting. So that's why I love just pulling out my X mine. I know it's going to work. I can put a million different mind maps. This is just one of the, I've got four on here that I've used in the past. And they're, they're really just, I can put as many mind maps as I want on. I can put as many different tabs on as I want to. And if some of you have been following my videos, you know, I did a capture system video. Well, here's how I did the capture system video. I wrote out all my ideas. I did my intro, the three types, and I put everything out and then I broke it down. And I was actually able to look at this while I was making the video and go point by point by point to make sure I covered everything. So I actually made a mind map, ordered all the information in my head, and then I went out and I, and I actually did it. It works. This thing just works. But I want to get into a couple of the features really quickly. Now, you can use this thing online or on your desktop. It works much better on your desktop. I use it almost exclusively on my desktop. Uh, it is available for PC, Mac, Linux. The most powerful function I love that I love on this thing is the notes function. What a note does is for me, I use, you can go up here and you can insert things. I hit F4. By hitting F4, it opens up a little drop down box and I can add a ton of, of notes. You can add a lot. I've, I've, I've copied and pasted so much information here. I didn't even know if it was going to take it and it did. So what I love about this is you can have all your information. You can have your ideas. And as you add and flesh out the ideas, you just open up a notes page and you add to the notes. 
And as you close it, what we see is a little notes indicator to know that we have notes that we can follow in and get more information on them. You can paste things. You can copy. You can paste. It works just like any other Windows, Mac, Linux type of thing. Copy and paste works beautifully. You can drag and drop. I like using the Alt key. So I'll hit the Alt key. If I want to move something up or down the list, I hit the Alt key and either go up or I go down the list. And you can see it moves it as I talk about it. This thing is designed so you can actually dig down. What di what digging down means is that there's a, you can go into the features and I can actually hit F6 on a PC and you can go deeper into this. That way you're not you're not dealing with a huge uh, mind map that's unwieldy. You, you go down to one of the smaller sections and you deal with it and then you go back out to see the larger point of view. So Shift F6 takes you back. It also has a USB uh, version. So you can take a USB, load up at the XMind portable version on it, and take it with you wherever you want to go. And here's a little tip that I want to give you. It's that you can actually sync it up a little bit by taking the an XMind file and putting it into a Dropbox, your Dropbox folder on your computer. Then if you ever go to another computer, you simply link up with the Dropbox folder, and you can do all the changes you want, and when you come back home, it's all synced up. Works nicely, works well, and I haven't tried it with the Google Drive folder, and I was going to try it before I, I did this video, so I think it's very likely going to work, and I'm kind of excited about that too. So give that a shot if you're interested about if you're if you work from home and at the office, if you can't install something on your, on your computer at work, use the USB drive, load it up on your computer at work, do all the changes you want, make all your your mind maps, take it home, and when you get home, it's all done for you. So I don't have many negatives about XMime, but I've got one that I'm going to set up right now, and it, it may be a deal breaker for you, and I don't, I'm don't. i hoping it's not going to be. I want you to just to hear me out, and then you can decide from this point forward. But the number one negative for me with using XMind is that there's no iPhone app, and there's no Android app. That, I know, is a very tough thing, and I'm still surprised, and I know they say they're really trying to make this this bulletproof, make sure it's structurally sound before they roll anything else out. But for me, that's tough. I still, I'm sticking with it because I think it works so well on my computer and it's so powerful that when I sit down and get my ideas out, this is the, the best solution I've, I've ever worked with. The other uh, negative that I find is that the topics will auto readjust sometimes. You can turn it off uh, or the, there's, there's different ways you can structure everything, but when the, the topics auto readjust, it, what happens is they start making a circle around the wheel as I add more topics, which can be a little bit annoying sometimes because you get used to having a topic in one spot, but then when I add a new topic and then, and then another new topic, what it does, it, it's actually creating a wheel and it's spinning things around the wheel, which for me that, just, I don't know, sometimes it's, it's a little bit annoying for me. Uh, the last negative I have is that it doesn't always remember the zoom level and that kind of pains me. When I have larger projects, you can see down the bottom here, there's the zoom level, and I can adjust the zoom level to go out or in, and usually I'm going out. But when I close the application and I come back to it, all of a sudden now, it, it goes back to 100% again, and I, it doesn't remember. I wish there was a, an option even that I could choose to ask it to, to have that, because it really does bug me when I'm on larger maps, and I want to be able to see everything at a glance, and then dig down deeper, but it keeps blowing me up so it's huge and I can't see all my different items because it's just there's just too much zoom on it. Overall though, I, I love XMind as you can tell. Super easy learning curve. I got it twice here. I can tell it's it's uh, easy to learn, easy to use, fast learning curve. It does work really well. Uh, for me though, there aren't many things that can beat the XMind. Uh, it works well. It, it for me it looks great, it looks professional, and I really suggest you give it a shot. Until next time, I'm Kevin Oxner. Take care.